back with another easy soup recipe that I think you'll all like, and it only uses five ingredients. Today I'll be making roasted cauliflower soup, and here are the five ingredients you'll need. Cauliflower, onion, garlic, butter, and broth or soup stock. For equipment, you'll need a pot, a colander, a large bowl, a blender, and a baking sheet with parchment paper. First step is to preheat the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the cauliflower and remove the stem. It doesn't matter how you cut the cauliflower since it'll be blended anyway. Don't throw out the cauliflower crumbs, place this in a bowl and transfer it to a pot later. Next, place the flour crowns on the lined baking sheet. Oops, this baking sheet is too small. Hang on, I'm going to transfer this to a larger sheet. Okay, this is much better. Now we have more room to spread out the cauliflower crowns. Drizzle two to three tablespoonfuls of oil over the cauliflower. I'm just going to brush it a little bit to coat it more evenly. Now that the oven is preheated, we can put the cauliflower in. Bake it for 25 minutes. While the cauliflower is baking, dice the onion. Now it's time to mince the garlic. If you have a Dutch oven pot like this, great. If not, you can use a regular pot for the soup. It works just fine as well. Now drizzle some oil into the pot. And when the pot is hot, dump the onion to saute. And don't forget to add the garlic. Once the onion starts turning a little bit brown or becomes translucent, you can add in the broth. I'm using 2 cups of chicken broth and 2 cups of water today, making it a total of 4 cups of liquid. You can use any kind of broth instead, vegetable or even just water if you want. Stir it a couple of times. And once it starts to boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer on low to medium heat. Your cauliflower should be ready to take out of the oven soon. Once your cauliflower is ready, take a few of the best looking smaller pieces of cauliflower and place it in a bowl. You will use these pieces as a garnish later. Mm, I think some of my pieces don't look quite as roasted. I might put it back in the oven for a little bit longer. I'm just going to put it back in the oven for maybe another 10 minutes or so. I should mention that I turned off the stove since I didn't want to overcook the broth while waiting for the cauliflower. Remember the little cauliflower crumbs we had? Well, it's time to add it into the pot. Now add the roasted cauliflower to the pot. Turn the heat back up to a boil. And when you see it start to bubble like this, you can reduce the heat to a low medium level. And just let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Once it's done cooking through, you can remove the pot from the hot plate and let it cool for a few minutes. Let it cool for 5 to 10 minutes. After a few minutes, carefully transfer the contents to your blender. I like to cover the lid with a tea towel. This just helps to prevent any hot soup from splattering on you. Once it looks really creamy like this, you can stop. Wait a minute, I forgot one crucial ingredient, the butter. Oh my goodness. Okay, so add in the two tablespoons of butter to the soup and we'll blend again for 10 seconds. Ooh, it smells so good. Just look at how creamy it is. 
Okay, once the soup is all blended, we can pour it back into our Dutch oven pot. So I'm just adding some black pepper to it. Um, I think I'll just add a little bit of salt. And then just mix it, stir it. And then you're ready to serve. And don't forget the few pieces of cauliflower that we took out earlier, we can use as a garnish on top of the soup. It'll just make it look a little prettier. if he wanted to join me. Oops. Should I ask him? Okay. Babe! Do you want some cauliflower soup? Okay. Okay, he wants cauliflower soup. I should go set it up for him now. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe. Bye now.